Pisces. First of all, please excuse the sound of my space heater in the background. I'm going to try and talk over it. But you have the Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups here. So are you telling me that somebody ghosted you? Because they were focused on all these other options, these third parties, instead of what was being placed in front of them? Or is this person coming back from ghosting you? Now they realize what was put in front of them. Pisces, happy birthday. Drop your sun, moon, and rising birthday down below. Let me know where you're watching from. Um, and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share this video. You can find me on Instagram. That information is in the description box. I'm throwing cards onto the floor here. And we're going to do one last shuffle and we're going to get into is this person coming or going? Who this person is? Some clarifiers. We're not taking any of those. And we're going to be in it to win it. Because this is looking complicated. Like, the Seven of Swords has to do with a liar, a cheater, a thief, somebody who is very sneaky, somebody you got to keep your eye on. We see it could be that somebody was very thirsty, wearing a mask here, being two-faced. Then we have this Four of Cups. I'll hold it up to the camera really quickly here. Um... Like this is speaking to immature energy, somebody being focused on all these other things or just making a mess while they're being immature and now wanting to come, wanting to come back so that you can help heal them after they ghosted you, played you. Mm, mm, mm. Pisces, what is the sign of this clown? Let me know in the comment section. Last shuffle. Let's get into this. But the seven of cups, another seven. This card speaking to having many options to choose from. Again, that mask again showing up twice in the Seven of Cups and behind this um, monkey here in the Seven of Swords. But we see somebody being courted here in the background. So now you're ghosting me to entertain somebody else here in the background and now you want to come back because it didn't work out because they played you for a fool or they realized you were a fool. Pisces... But a lot of you guys are done with this. You're not feeling it. You're not willing to commit to this person or give them a second chance here with this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. But this can also symbolize, again, that this person removed their commitment to you to go and entertain this other party here because they felt like they had other options. Maybe they even felt like they had better options and left for some type of stability here. Ooh. And with these two children, you could tell me that you have a child with this person and this other individual that they were courting has a child with them. Maybe it's the mother or father of their child that they're going in between. Or maybe this other person has a child and that's a clue. Mm, mm, mm. The seven of pentacles, more of this earth energy. And now we have three sevens. The seven of air, the seven of earth, and the seven of water. Seven, seven, seven. Somebody Google that and drop it in the comment section. Please, you'll be the real VIP because I don't have my other phone close to me. Oh, yeah, I do. It's right there. Um, maybe I'll Google it and read that. But this speaks to potentially unfairly giving to two, running away from your responsibilities or not being focused on your long-term goals here and leaving somebody high and dry. Chase, potentially chasing somebody they couldn't have here or them not having anything to offer but running away from some things. Lord, Pisces, who are you dealing with? And this Knight of Cups in the reverse, which is somebody going through the motions with this empty love offer here, knowing that they're charming, knowing that they're attractive, knowing exactly what to say to get back with you on a rabbit. So trying to move very quickly between you and this other person. The Page of Pentacles, more of this earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this speaking to new commitments coming in. So you could be telling me, Pisces, that this old person is coming back this Knight of Cups with all this nonsense, this drama, but you have a new person coming in, someone who's solid and stable and is willing to offer you the commitment that it is that you want. Okay. Pisces, let's, the Three of Wands, because somebody else is waiting, because I feel like this is you waiting for your ships to come in waiting on other options. You may have moved on here. Maybe this person drives a Mustang, this new person, or maybe that trashy old person drives a Mustang. But uh, I feel like you're ready to move on from this situation. Okay, so let's get into the Seven of Cups. This person thinking that they had other options, entertaining somebody else here in the background, and that's why they ghosted you. 
or they're getting ready to. Because for some of you, you feel like this person is getting distant. And that's what people do when they're getting ready to betray you. But for others of you, this person's walked away and you want to know why. Let's get into that. The Seven of Cups. What about the Seven of Cups situation? We see the Eight of Swords here in the reverse, which is releasing yourself from being stuck, trapped, not knowing which way to go here. But we see this person talking in circles. Could have been a Capricorn that you were dealing with, even though this is an air sign card, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But when I see this little demon, it makes me think of the, um, the devil card, which is Capricorn energy. But this was somebody that they were speaking to on the low here. They may have been telling you that they were feeling trapped in this relationship, like it wasn't going anywhere or just making a lot of complaints. But I feel like this person was just very selfish and a liar. Okay. The King of Pentacles in the reverse. It could also have been a Taurus person. We got Capricorn, air signs, water signs, no fire on the board. Interesting. But Taurus energy here with this King of Pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody who is very stubborn, stuck in their ways. And this also with this King of Pentacles and this having this leg closed, um, crossed here, like somebody's physically closed off to something. This person isn't taking any type of criticism. They don't self-evaluate stubborn stuck in their ways mm -hmm. it was their this me it was their way or the highway and they decided to take the highway and entertain somebody else here the eight of pentacles more earth energy pisces was it an earth sign but with these six pentacles up here even though this is an eight of pentacles card the six of pentacles has to do with taking a risk and taking a gamble here i feel like this person is getting ready to come back after ghosting you because it didn't work out here because they're stubborn and stuck in their ways talking in circles lots of lies around this person because they're constantly wearing a mask and once it slips they got to move on but they're acting like they were focusing on themselves but really they were taking this gamble this risk with somebody else and it didn't work out oh it didn't work out with the other person sad boots with the empress here in the reverse taurus libra energy this is a card of abundance, creativity, wisdom, and emotional balance, right? Somebody being very attractive can also be fertility, but this is in the reverse. This is a lack of emotional stability. This is a lack of abundance. This is a lack of creativity. And that speaks to me with this person telling the same stories, the same lies over and over and over again. They don't have any new tricks. But this person was trying to put you in the back burner as well as playing these games with, the, with this new person. And they lost out. But now they want to come back to you clarifying this Ace of Coins with this Ace of Cups, this undying love for you. How they've been feeling. They want to start over, wipe the slate clean. This also speaks to divine blessings coming in, and maybe that's why you had to remove yourself from this commitment and a brand new beginning here with the fool, the start of a brand new journey. Now, you could also be telling me that this ghoster had the, has the audacity to only want to talk to you on Snapchat, or maybe that's how your relationship was, or how they were dealing with this third party or this other person that they chose ghosted you over, right? But this is you removing yourself from this commitment so you can... Find your blessings elsewhere and moving on from this. We see that three of this three of wands in the reverse. You waiting for these other options here, but you may not be telling this person, right? Because now this person is trying to tell you that they want a fresh start with you and how they're not looking for third parties. They're not waiting for any ships to come in. They're happy with you. But I'm not getting that you're happy with this person or that you want to take this risk because they haven't changed. Eight of wands in the reverse. Speaking to a lack of change, swift communication, and swift movement. Yeah, they want to move swiftly into your house or your apartment, your townhouse. Yeah, they want to lay up with you real quick so you have those emotional bonds with them because they're very toxic and crazy, but they haven't done any changing. This is one of those homeless romantics that I'm talking about here. It's tax time. Be aware. Be cautious just trying to use you. Again, this Empress in the reverse and this Eight of Wands in the reverse, this person is not valuing you and what you bring to the table here. They're trying to play you for a fool. Back to that fool card in this Three of Wands. Is it a Leo here playing these games with the Strength card showing up here, clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, Seven and Eight? But this is also a card of bringing balance back to a situation here. 
having the strength to bring balance back to a situation, having the courage to have this conversation and let this person know that mm, you left me high and dry, dead on a rock here, lying, cheating, stealing from me, being two-faced here because you were courting somebody else here in the background. All these sevens, the seven of earth, the seven of water, and the seven of air. And seven times three is what? 21, which is closing out this chapter, moving on, traveling, leaving it alone. Because they're going through it. The 16 with the tower moment, Scorpio Aries energy. This is a mess. This is some chaos. This is this person being exposed for being very messy. And I was telling you that this person was toxic. That eight of swords making me think of um, Capricorn energy. That devil, we see that demon there. Boop. Devil right here. Capricorn energy in the building. This speaking to their webs of lies and deception. This person being obsessive, controlling, manipulative, maybe having an issue with, with addictions, right? Drugs, alcohol, sex, whatever the case may be. Because we also have the strength card there, which can be somebody um, not being in control of their lusts. Ooh. And now it's spilling out all over the place. We see this water everywhere, a mess, just a fool. And we see that if we pull these cards down in just this row, right? We see the king of pentacles, that Taurus, that stubborn energy. We see the fool here. Again, that homeless romantic. See that little satchel right there on that stick? Just an Adidas bag with some clothes in it. But we see this tower moment. Because they were stuck in their ways and being foolish, now this tower moment's hit, exposing how toxic they are. Taurus, Libra here. We have Gemini, we have Capricorn, Scorpio, Aries, Leo showing up there. Drop this person sign. Who is this person that we need to be watching out for? Lord, tell me it's not one of these toxic Capricorns. What are my people doing? And then we see the observer here or the hangman in a traditional deck. Now, this is about clarity and a change in perspective. But you could also be telling me that this person refuses to see the air in their ways, their toxic ways, that they feel like that they're the victim in this situation of this tower moment, this karma that they're experiencing. And maybe that's why you have to turn this person down. Um, Knight of Cups in the reverse, why you can't accept this offer. Because you're realizing that this person maybe doesn't even have the mental capability to realize what it is that they do wrong. The fact that they're part of the problem, that they're the common denominator in all of this. This Knight of Cups is being clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, child, which is a happy family card. And we see that Seven of Pentacles up here at the top and the Three of Pentacles here at the bottom. Seven of Pentacles here, the Ten of Pentacles here, which is somebody almost getting like a dream. Dreaming of a happy family, dreaming of um, generational wealth, long-term happiness, getting married here, making a serious commitment, because this is a commitment card, as well as closing out a cycle into abundance. And that's why this Knight of Cups is upside down, because they have a situation going on here in the background. That's this Empress in the reverse. Are they married? Do they live with somebody? They have a mother or father of their children that are in the background here that they're not disclosing. And that's this tower moment that, you, that you're getting ready to find out about. Or maybe that's why they had to go shoot because they are living with somebody and they had to take care of that before they came back to you. They, they felt like they could put you on the back burner here. Queen of Cups. More of that Scorpio energy. Oh, yes. We got this King of Pentacles here, this Queen of Cups over here, this Fool card in this tower. Oh, yes. Because they were saying that they were separated. For some of you people, these, this person was very much married. The situation is very muddy. Queen of Water, King of Earth, right? They were saying that maybe they were legally separated or somebody lives at a distance, a different state. They're emotionally apart here. But that's not, I don't feel like that's the case. That's why they're ghosting you. Because they got a situation, if it's not a marriage, they have children or a living situation with somebody that they're trying to juggle here and not very well with this two of pentacles in the reverse. Mm -hmm. 
So while they're saying that they want to take this risk, take this gamble with you, and they're not looking out for any other third parties, that's because they're already in a situation. So no, they may not be looking for another third party, but there's a third party. This is a third party party up in here. Okay? That's exactly what this is. And that's why you're going to have to set some boundaries with this person. Queen of, um, Queen of Swords. And anytime I see multiple queens or multiple kings, we know it's third parties, other lovers. It can also be mothers, family members involved. It could be a mother here with this empress and this queen of swords, queen of cups, third parties. But I feel like somebody's actually married and there's a third party situation going on here. Maybe for stability, um, financially, maybe for emotional support from the other person here. But this is you needing to set up some boundaries. And again, we see this person here in this Queen of Swords card that looks pregnant. Are, are you knocked up, Pisces, by this person that's married? Did your husband or wife get knocked up, knock somebody up, and now they're coming home to you or they're knocking on your door looking for milk money? Diapers, wipes, whatever the case may be. But this is you needing to separate yourself from these beggars. That can't be choosers. And then we see this page of pentacles, which is new blessings coming in. And we see an ending here. The death card, transition, transformation, letting things go. Right? Because this person's coming. I feel like this is this person coming back at you, acting like they have changed. Like they're turning over a new leaf or wanting to start a commitment with you that is immature here because they haven't changed. There's, they haven't gone through this transition of a divorce or moving out of the household, or figuring out this other situation with this empress in the reverse. Scorpio, Sagittarius showing up here with the temperance card. And what we really see here is a wand in one hand, or a staff, and a knife in the other. And this is an imbalance, a lack of harmony, somebody's patience running out, and hopefully it's yours with dealing with this situation, Pisces. But this is somebody whose actions don't match their words with that staff in one hand, sword in the other. And this is somebody who's getting close to you to betray you. See, your enemies can't betray you from a, from a distance when you know who you're dealing with. This is somebody getting close to you to play these games. And that's why this is ending. Ten of swords here, which is an ending due to many betrayals here. This person's actions not matching their words. They have the audacity to ghost you and you want to know why. Or ghosting you and coming back and acting all casual like nothing's happening here. Wanting to have this passionate new beginning with you, even though you can't trust them. Because they're manipulative and deceptive here with the magician. Even though they have all the tools necessary to be successful in a given situation, in a relationship with you, work project, whatever, however this is resonating for you, right? They choose to be manipulative and deceptive and play all these games because they think that that's going to make you happy or telling you what they think you want to hear to make you happy, but it's really draining you. And that's why they're hoping that you let your guard down again because they're trying to offer you this Ten of Cups moment, but it's immature. They haven't changed. Their impulses are getting the best of them with this Page of Wands, sending you these love messages, those private Snapchats. And like, why are they only talking to you on Snapchat? Because they don't want the other person on their phone plan to be able to see it? Mm. Yeah. You need to be real careful with this person because they're, they're shady, very shady. Because they're coming off like it's a soulmate connection, but really... I don't know. It's feeling very karmic to me. Like this was to teach you a lesson in dealing with people like this. Or these are the signs and symptoms of somebody who needs some help. Has some deep-rooted insecurity issues that are keeping them back. The six of pentacles in the reverse. Because this person is the common denominator. They're the elephant in the room. But look at these arms up like they're like, I don't know what the problem is. It's all these other people. No, you're the problem. And this is somebody who moves on from person to person, partner to partner, relationship to relationship, so that they don't have to change themselves. So they're hoping that you go through this break, this period, this ghosting, and that you're so happy to see them when they come back, when you manifest them back into your life, or they manifest themselves back into your life, that you just let your guard down and you act a fool. That you're so desperate to be with them that you miss out on all these red flags here. And that they can move in with you until the waters get crazy and they can move on to somebody else. Because they're talking about starting a solid foundation with you. 
moving in, getting married, having children here. But this is also a card of somebody keeping things close to their chest. Not laying it all out there. When we see these finances that this person is sitting on behind their back, almost like we can't see it. We can see that you got some money here while you're acting broke. Asking you for money even though they got it just so they don't have to spend their money. And this should make you very nervous. I feel like a lot of you are nervous when this person comes back because they're telling you that they've been watching you from a distance and doing all that. But where you been? This is breadcrumbing. Playing games here. And an elephant never forgets, Pisces. You know that this person is playing games here. Pisces, drop this person sign down below. Please don't forget to check out your sun, moon, and rising videos. You can also reach out to me for a personal reading. That information is in the description box. Please don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll be checking in with you soon, Water Sign family. Happy birthday and keep it real.